right, everyone, welcome to the pop culture streets because girl, it is Monday and they are clean but ready to get messy, okay? Girl, okay, let's start by talking about Chris Queen, girl, the ex star of uh, Selling Sunset. She recently made the headlines where, you know, her soon to be ex husband went crazy, you know, and decided to start like hitting her and hitting her baby allegedly you know and doing all of these things the guy got arrested there is a restraining order then the guy decided to break the restraining order got arrested again the guy is a mess okay to say the least i have no idea probably because he had money but like girl why are you why are these women you know getting involved with these crazy ass people but anyways the point is that now Kristen Quinn is um, accusing him of, of course, being abusive, but also like uh, manipulating her and manipulating her kid by even going so far into faking that her his mother had a heart attack in order to get close to them again. Girl, this is going to be so messy, okay? So this is coming from Radar Online. And it says that Kristen Quinn is fighting back against her estranged husband's temporary restraining order request. Oh, yeah, because he then I, I'm like, girl, you are the abusive one and you're going to go around and, and throw a restraining order. Girl. But anyways, um, temporary restraining order request claiming that he cannot be trust in documents obtained by Radar Online. Uh, Christine charge her ex Christian Dumont is not credible and has continued to lie as a means of emotional manipulation. Queen said that Christian even gone as far as allegedly faking his own mother heart attack days after he filed for divorce on April 5th. Fifth. <laughs> The accusations were filed in Los Angeles court on Monday as part of their dual restraining order request. On April 10, I was informed of Christian's request to FaceTime his mother, Nancy Dumontet, with our son because his mother had recently suffered from a heart attack. I regularly keep in touch with my son's grandmother, Nancy and spoke with her that very morning, and I know this to be untrue. She did not suffer a heart attack. This attempt to exploit a family member's false medical condition is yet another attempt by Christian to manipulate me, my attorneys, and even his own attorneys. Queen and Christian has uh, loved in a nasty divorce battle after he was arrested in March Following an explosive fight that allegedly involved their son, she claimed that he threw a bag full of glass at the toddler, resulting in a hospital visit for the youngster and a night in jail for the husband. He is denying the allegations, of course, and filed a petition for a protective order against her. Girl, this guy is crazy. You know, I mean, I know that she was a little bit crazy too but like girl this is just like going into another level and for some reason i'm deciding to believe her you know because you look at this guy you can tell that there is something that is not okay right okay so let's talk about the spice girls there is a lot of talk about the spice girls reuniting after like years and years and years um this has been going on for a while but now apparently it's finally coming you know i'm sorry it's finally you know happening um the rumors are that they're gonna be announcing a world tour you know a reunion world tour and you know i know all of this because my husband is the ultimate fan of these spice girls you know but anyways the tea is that they got together all five of them for the first time since literally i think the olympics back in 2012 okay for victoria's beckham birthday now david beckham uh, uploaded a video that basically broke the internet of uh, all five of them singing um stop you know you know stop right now thank you very much you know so um 
everyone is just going crazy and apparently all of these little things that they are doing are just seats for what is to come and it will be one of the most anticipated reunions in history okay so um what do you guys think are you excited are you fans of the spice girls let me know in the comments below now last but no least we need to talk about miss taylor swift but to be very more more precise taylor swift uh fans okay so you know usually fans base could get a little bit cray cray you know the britney army the beehive the swifties you know uh no one can say absolutely nothing bad about their stars because they go like for the kill girl you know so uh there is this magazine you know who usually you know do reviews of albums and stuff and they throw their review of one of their you know people and it's not a good review about taylor swift newest album right uh and there was a lot of boss on the internet because they decided to keep the name of the the person who wrote that review out of the review right so the review in itself says um that is not a good album you know that i mean the review is bad it's a bad review you know and of course everyone was like looking for someone to blame looking for someone to blame like who who are we gonna have to like on live because of this bad review of taylor swift new album you know because the swifters are thinking that this is the best thing that happened in the world um look i love taylor swift but i am not a swifty like that you know like i'm not i'm not get excited about you know a new album but like i like her i like her you know commercial music but yeah so the magazine had to actually throw like you know uh a tweet out there basically saying like hey the only reason why we're doing this to everyone who is like looking for someone to like hang is because the same reason that you are looking for someone you know basically they say that there is no byline on this review due to how in 2019 when they Pace review lover the writer was sent threats of violence form from readers who disagree with the work we care more about the safety of our staff than a name attached to an article i mean look there are of course you know people also saying like hey, everyone is entitled to their opinion you know and that um they should not be going this far which i agree okay like i don't understand why you will go and threat someone that you don't know just because they did not like the same music that you do okay there are things that are way more important in the world than that and the fact that so i mean especially death threats i think that's like very scary and i don't understand this on any aspect people do it all the time on reality tvs you know to to celebrities to all of this is like what can you imagine someone going out of their way to be like, ah, oh, I'm going to do this to you because you did not like Taylor Swift's latest album? It's like, girl, you know, like go on vacation, do something, you know? I don't, but anyways, it just, it really happens all the time. Now, on the other side, I do have to say that if you're going to talk shit about something, you know, just come with the consequences, attach your name, you know? It's the same thing that over here, you know? When I'm spilling the tea, uh there are people out there who they don't even use their real name they don't use their face they don't say anything and they feel so comfortable going behind a keyboard you know i'm putting all of this hate all the time you know i'm like i'm not gonna do that i have an opinion i'm gonna put my face over here and i'm gonna you know stay by my opinion you know like i stand by my opinion you know and then it's, this is what i think period you don't like it you don't like it it is what it is right so I think you also need to be a little bit of like, you know, have some like balls, you know, and being like, girl, I don't like your freaking album, period. What are you going to do? Huh? Who's going to check me, boo? Hmm? So anyways, that's what is happening on these pop culture streets. I know they are crazy. They are crazy. Okay. So anyways, that's it from the pop culture streets. But don't go anywhere because now we're going to be moving into the last segment on the day. And girl, these are Mm, juicy so don't go anywhere because it is time for our breaking news <laughs> 